Hey guys, it's Leo Stargazer. I'm here with our daily tarot reading. Today is Monday, August 14th. And our intention for the day is emotional respect. I want the cards today to help us understand how we can bring respect to our emotions today. How we can apply respect when we are analyzing emotions in particular. Yesterday's spread was difficult. Um, we were trying to lead with light and love and we encountered some stumbling blocks. I hope that that turned out for you um, to ultimately be liberating and bring you that self-trust we talked about in the end. But today, I want us to respect our emotions, meaning I want us to bring a sense of respect to and almost honor our emotional responses to everything. Our emotional response to love, our emotional response to the senses, also our emotional response to difficult stuff. Difficulty in relationships and career and in, in life in general. Stumbling blocks also. I want us to respect our emotional response to these things and I hope that the tarot cards can show us how we can do that today. So let's check them out. Okay, so I begin to shuffle the deck as usual. Um, today I'm thinking about respect. I'm definitely imbuing everything with an emotional context, but I really, really am focusing on respect. Respecting myself, respecting the cards. So I'm going to take a few deep breaths. Center on respect. Think about what that means for me. And really really clear my mind of anything except the idea of respect. Let's do that together for a little while. Take some deep breaths with me while I shuffle. Um, let's take the time to do that today uh, so that when we start drawing, we can be um, open and fresh and ready to go. <laughs> I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I've brought the deck from Chaos into Unity, and I'm ready to draw my first card. I'm doing the thinking, feeling, doing spread as usual, and in the thinking position, the card that I draw is the Ace of Swords reversed. The Ace of Swords reversed in thinking is definitely showing me that our thoughts will be unwieldy today. It's showing me that it'll be difficult for us to intellectually grasp onto our thoughts. It may be simple, like it may be hard to um, think about conceptual stuff. It may be hard to deal with complexity. Once again, that was kind of yesterday as well. It may be difficult to wield those thoughts. So I think instead of just it being difficult to deal with, which it might be too. I think it's really the idea that we may be able to intellectually analyze our thinking today, the stuff on our mind, um, but it'll be it'll probably be a challenge to wield that effectively. Let's hope the rest of the cards show us how we can wield that. Because if we can upright the Ace of Swords here, if we can get that authority and that strong arm to hold on to our thoughts and wield those um, appropriately, I think... Uh, 
we'll be in a really good place. Um, but even if we can't, even if the cards don't help us, and even if we aren't able to do that, remember our intention is emotional respect. So we need to make sure that we are respecting that regardless. And because it's emotional respect, the feeling card up next is going to be key. Let's check it out. So in the feeling position, the card that I draw is the Three of Swords. I'm glad we're respecting our emotions today because this card shows us that in the feeling position, those emotions may be rough, <laughs> rough and tough. They may be heightened and extreme and maybe even imbued with sorrow. Um, it's a tough card in feeling. There is no question. Once again, I think these spreads in the beginning of the week are preparing us. I think they're preparing us to be strong. I'm really grateful for our intentions because I think, and I'm grateful to the cards for, for revealing truth because um, we can be prepared this way. Three of swords in feeling. We need to respect it. Emotional respect. We need to respect the three of swords here. The journey that we're on is about inward focus. The journey that we're on is about self-understanding. The intention for today was to respect our emotional journey, respect the emotional part of that journey. And in the emotional position of our spread, in the feelings position, we get a card that shows difficult emotions. We have to deal with difficult emotions. We have to. And maybe that's the answer. It's also swords to the Ace of Swords reversed in thinking. Maybe the idea is that if we engage with these feelings, with difficult feelings today, that is how we can, if we can deal with them and bring some kind of balance and understanding, dig deep into those feelings and understand um, how even the tougher stuff that we feel, some of our more difficult emotions can actually be the most formative, can actually, if we can deal with them, give us the most power. I think that maybe if we can deal with the Three of Swords, we can get a better grip on swords in general, on our intellect, on our pragmatism and stoicism to a degree. We, we, can, we can wield those things authoritatively, but we have to deal with all of our intense emotions and respect them. We have to respect them. So let's see if doing shows us how we can do that, <laughs> how we can bring a sense of respect in um, to our thoughts and feelings. In the third position of doing, the card that I draw is the sun reversed. We are going through it. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> um, I'm going through it. We're going through it. The sun reversed though, because the sun is so powerful, because this card is so powerful, it does not lose all of its essence when reversed. It simply becomes clouded, at least how I see it. It becomes clouded. So I'm thinking because this is doing, it's showing us that we potentially could be clouding our own sun. And I think maybe it's a warning, a bigger warning, that if we don't respect our emotions, if we don't respect our emotional journeys, we're going to be clouding our ability to continue to grow. We're going to be clouding our ability to engage in sunshine and positivity. We're going to be clouding our ability to wield our intellect authoritatively. It's going to be tough. And it could be what this is saying in doing. It could be saying that we might be the ones doing that. Um, kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy. We are maybe clouding our ability to... Uh, to wield that appropriately. And I think maybe because we got the three, maybe it's saying if we didn't respect those emotions, if we didn't respect those feelings, that that is creating the clouds that are even present in the three. That that's the cloudiness. That if we don't approach that and deal with those and respect those emotions, that we're bringing more clouds. We're keeping our abilities clouded. We've got to deal with those emotions. We've got to clear the clouds to make way for the sun. So let's look to the Lenormand to see how we do that. 
Okay, so we're back to shuffling, this time the Lenormand deck. Again, guys, back to intention, emotional respect. We're going to respect these cards. We're going to respect ourselves. We're going to respect our ability to understand them. So let's imbue this with that respect while I continue to shuffle. Center with me. Okay, so I have shuffled my deck. I've brought it from chaos into unity, full of respect, in a respectful way. And I'm ready to draw the first card in my pair. The card that I draw is the fox. The fox here, as the first card in our pair of action, on how we can not cloud our emotions, not cloud or in, inhibit our ability to respect our emotions. The fox here is, so, is showing us that we may have to be clever in order to figure that out. We may have to um, be a little bit self-motivated in that. Maybe the respect we're showing is really for our emotions only. Maybe it is this idea that in order to get to that place of respect, we kind of have to Work for our own purposes. But let's look at the second card to see how it's informed. The card that I draw second is the dog. The dog is our companion. The card represents companionship. It represents loyalty also. It represents friend, friendship, a friend maybe in particular. Also potentially an advisor, someone who is loyal to you, committed to you, and supportive of you. How does that tie into the fox? Well, two ways, I think. I think either it's you yourself, you're your best companion today. You're gonna be able to cleverly bypass the clouds. You can cleverly figure out how to use self-interest and self-motivation and self-commitment, self-companionship to overcome the cloudiness. It could be that. It could also be that there's someone in your life, a very close companion, someone who is absolutely loyal to you, someone who you do not question their loyalty at all. It has to be that person. It can't be someone who you're like, well, today they're cute, but they weren't. So that person's no. It's the person who has always been there for you and will always be there for you, that you know that. Maybe even the person who you have been clever with. I know that sounds strange. The person who maybe you have had to do things a little differently with and y'all found success. Maybe you tiptoed around something and were able to have victory in one corner. Someone who you maybe have um, been a partner with to um, overcome situations. Someone who you've overcome things with who is loyal to you no matter what, and who you know that. That person today will help you clear the clouds. If you are your best friend, if you are your most loyal companion, that's possible, and that's totally cool, too. If that's you, trust yourself, respect yourself, and that'll help you clear those clouds. That'll help you deal with those difficult emotions that you just have to deal with. With the spreads of the last two days, guys, we're going to have to deal with obstacles. We're going to have to deal with emotions, difficult ones maybe even. And if we do, we can clear up the clouds and be on the journey and really find all this light, love, and beauty, respect ourselves, and move on. If we don't, though, we're, we're, ne we're never going to be able to move forward. We're going to be kind of trapped. So with this Lenormand pair, rely on you if you're your best friend or 
someone else who is super, super loyal to you. Regardless, rely on them or you. Respect them or you or yourself. And then use that power in that unity, in that loyalty, in that companionship. Use that to dive deep into your emotions today. Clear out all those clouds. Wield your power and soak up the sun. And we're going to leave it there. I'll see you tomorrow.